Hi guys, so today we will be looking at some C4 chain rule integration questions. The first question um, requires of you to integrate 6 over 3 minus 2x all to the power 4 dx. Now, whenever you have a constant being multiplied or divided by an overall function, always pull the constant outside. The reason as to why I advise students to do this is surely because it neatens and it simplifies the look of the question then. So you are here left with 6 integral of 1 over 3 minus 2x to the power 4 dx. Now, if you have a constant in the numerator and an algebraic function in the denominator, the next very crucial question to ask yourselves is, is the overall power equal to 1 in the denominator? If it's not equal to 1, as is the case here, you do not have a choice but to lift the denominator, the 3 minus 2x to the power 4, into the numerator. So do not fail to exercise your knowledge of indices. So the overall power 4 here becomes a minus 4 there. So you're left with 6 integral of 3 minus 2x to the power of minus 4 dx. Now, this is ready to get integrated using the chain rule method. The first step while applying the chain rule integration method is for you to differentiate whatever is inside the bracket. So when you differentiate 3 minus 2x, you will obtain minus 2. Now, because you're integrating, you, have, you do not have a choice but to reciprocate the derivative. So minus 2 becomes minus half. Now, the next step is for you to integrate the overall function. So whatever is inside the bracket, do not worry about it, it remains the same. You are now going to, of course, work with the powers. So we are going to integrate the overall function, the big function here. Minus 4, the power minus 4 gets up by 1 when we are integrating and it becomes minus 3. Now do not forget that you need to divide the function by the new power. So 3 minus 2x to the power of minus 3 divided by minus 3 plus c. Do not fail to put your to write down your plus c because obviously we do not have any limits, integral limits here. Now you simplify always need in your workup in this particular case when I you know when I cancel down my constants I find I find that I'm left with plus one. So the final answer equals 3 minus 2x all to the power of minus 3 plus c. Now the next question again is an algebraic is an algebraic function with um, with an algebraic denominator here. Now, um, of course, the numerator is a constant. The next step that I ask myself is, is the overall power equal to 1? Yes, the overall power is indeed equal to 1 in the de algebraic denominator here. So if the overall power is equal to 1, you cannot send it to the numerator. What you need to do is differentiate, apply the chain rule integration method straight to this denominator here. So when you differentiate 1 minus 4x, you will be left with minus 4, but do not fail to reciprocate your derivative. So I'm left with minus a quarter. And the overall um, integral of 1 over an exponential function is ln of 1 minus 4x plus c. Sorry, it's not an exponential function, it's an algebraic function. So the integral of 1 over 1 minus 4x is ln of 1 minus 4x plus c. Do not fail to modulate your function here, 1 minus 4x, because it is an ln function. The next question is a trigonometrical question. So the integral of cos x squared 3x dx. Now, again... Let us look at the angle only. Let us look at the angle and apply the chain rule integration method to this angle 3x here. When I differentiate 3x, I get 3, but do not forget that we are integrating, so I have to reciprocate my derivative. So I'm going to get 1 over 3, and then I proceed on to 
integrating the overall function of cos, I know that co the integral of cos x square x is minus cortex, but in this case, do not forget that the, the function, the angle here, will never change. So the integral of cos x square 3x is minus cot 3x plus c. And of course, just neaten your answer up, and that is equal to minus a third cot 3x plus c as your final answer. Now, we move on to the very last question, which is an exponential function. So the integral of e minus 2x plus 1 dx is equal to, in fact, I think exponential functions, the integration and differentiation of exponential functions are by far the easiest. So what you need to do here is hide the exponential function, differentiate the power. The derivative of minus 2x plus 1 is minus 2. Yet again, because we are integrating, we have to reciprocate our derivative. So I'm going to get minus half and multiply by whatever was given to you in the question. It does not differ. You don't add 1 or take away 1 or whatever to the power. The, an exponential function never changes. It remains the same. So it's minus half multiplied by e minus 2x plus 1 plus c. So that's your final answer. All right, take care. I hope that this was helpful. I will post some questions on my blog, so it'd be nice if you could just send pictures of the answers to the questions. Take care. Bye.